I got a question from Brian Byrne, and I'll leave this up to your expertise because <laughs> Joe's the one who set all this up. I don't want to break anything. Uh, he asked if he can show the device it's connected to. He has to see the sportscast box. Yeah, I'll see if I can bring it up because it's in a difficult spot here. Yeah, and if we don't need this camera anymore, maybe we can scoot yeah, it back. So, but yeah, I can just set it on top of the Dactronics board. So is there anything specific, or is it just curious about what? Oh, uh, he just ask can you show the device that the all sport is connected to the network so, so we can see all the different parameters that exist it's a little blurry so i'll go ahead and move that a little closer we can see all the different settings that are relevant to that so we can see even the bot number there we can see what sport it's set to and we'll see even like the template information that we need to set so I believe it's one of these menus. Yeah, there we go. So there's a code. So the Dactronics board has a specific code and it's split by two different sets of numbers. There's a PDF somewhere that they have. And if you have, if you want to have access to this PDF, we can probably um, email new blue at webinars and I can probably find that link and send it over. But this is pretty much the template that DAC the, the Dactronics board needs the, 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 the score link to be set to so that it can actually read the information and interpret it. Yeah. And for a recap, and maybe for anyone tuning to this point in the video, um, the AllSport is your control surface. Um, all of its information, I don't know if you call it analog. It's, it's serial data. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it exports all of its. All of its data is serial. It pipes that out into the SportsCast device. There's also a company called um, uh, ScoreBridge who does one of these devices as well. So it's SportsCast and ScoreBridge uh, are the primary ones. Uh, those ones digitize that information. And then it is that digitized information that then goes into Tidler Live over the network. Exactly. One of the solutions that I also found pretty interesting that I believe is a uh, is flexible in its own regard, but does take some technical know-how to get running smoothly, is using something like scoreboard, scoreboard OCR. This solution produces XML data. And pretty much what this tool does is if you have any kind of camera or video clip, you can pretty much make that camera point at a scoreboard. And then the software itself will then identify which digits are being displayed. Then you can pretty much set different XML or variable parameters. So for example, if you're capturing a game clock and a visitor's a score and a, and a home team score. You can assign those to be whatever, you know, you can assign them to be home score and then visitor score and then game clock. And then it'll produce XML data in real time that you can use then Tatter Live to connect to that. They do have a variety of different documentation available. So it is called Scoreboard OCR. They have an application that runs on your desktop and you can actually see that there's a document as well for using that with something like Tatter Live.